Check out these two stunning mountains. I'm near the Bridge of Orkey and I'm planning on going up these mountains today and hopefully doing a summit camp depending on time. Uh, the one on the right is Stob Corrie Adair, I think, and the one on the left is Stob Gaban. I probably got them the wrong way around or pronounced wrong, but yeah, I'll put them in the description below. A beautiful morning, absolutely stunning. And the mist that's been hanging around, it bodes well for a cloud inversion tomorrow morning, and that would just be absolutely fantastic. I'm going to get battered on before it gets dark. Some stunning waterfalls here. Now, I'm actually going to branch off to the right of the camera to go up that mountain. But the one here with the waterfall, I camped just up the top there. Must be a couple of years ago now. And it was with my Starlight 2 tent that I used. But yeah, beautiful set of waterfalls. It is getting late, I think there's maybe about an hour of daylight left and I'm not far from the top of the mountain, the summit so I think I might actually just camp down here the wind's picking up a little bit that's uh, clouding in just now yeah, might do that pitch tent here and then early morning up to the summit and see if we can have a or see if there's a nice cloud inversion throughout the, the glens The sun just going down and I've managed to get camp set up just in time. I have my food pack here ready to go in a minute. I've got my water that I brought up, my stove, and I've also brought this, which will be, it'll be interesting to see how it performs later. But it's basically a hobo stove and it's made with uh, cardboard and then you impregnate it with beeswax and I've seen some of these burning for hours and hours and it's really not that heavy and I'm thinking of using it as a heater when I'm away doing camps like this uh, more so right into the winter when it's really cold at night and you're looking for a way to keep warm I do know people take a fire log things like that this could be this could be the answer here and I do know of a way to turn it into a normal stove as well. So this could be an option instead of taking this. And then the fact that it burns for hours and hours, you're getting kind of constant heat for the evening. We'll see how it performs later anyway. It might be a big fail. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But the views behind the camera now, yeah, just the, the summits round about, absolutely beautiful. I've just been sitting there for a while watching the, the sunset and it's just incredible. Beautiful when it's like this. And it's time for a coffee and chill out. 
it's just one of those things about the wild camping when you're out in the, the wilds you can just let your mind kind of go forget about everything else that's going on in the world be it pandemics or elections and all the other rubbish yeah good for the soul this it really is just switch off completely even if it's just for one night yeah coffee thing That's me just finished my expedition meal and it was spaghetti bolognese and to be honest I didn't quite enjoy it. Dunno, it was uh had a bit of a, a vinegar twang to it. <laughs> so I didn't enjoy it. Uh, I've got this feeling it's going to come back on me later. Big time. But yeah, coffee, lovely. And the sky is clearing. I can already see, I think it's Mars behind the camera coming out or appearing. Oh, I've got another one over there, so yeah. Now, I might actually try this. This hobo stove, let's give this a go. This could be where I set fire to everything, the tent a lot. This might take some time. Now this hobo stove is working quite well so far but I have to say please, please be careful with anything like this near a tent. I've got this wide open here and you know, it's under control here it is. Ideally you better sitting away from your tent with something like this because uh, it could end in tears in a big way so please be careful. But the principle is it's quite good. Uh, it's just enough to keep my hands warm and if it was to burn for maybe two, three hours, four hours, it would be a great addition for the winter camping. And depending on, again, how long it would last, you could potentially do away with taking a stove and just use this because I have seen people using a cutlery strainer from Ikea, a stainless one, it can actually go over the top of it because it's got all the mesh holes and then you can use that to put your cup on matter of fact this is ideal just to keep my coffee warm <laughs> yeah something different there eh? now it's getting a bit late and i think that's it from a vlogging point of view i'm going to hit the hit the hay Listen to my audiobook. I've still got the my rats trilogy to finish, so I'll do that tonight, and then tomorrow morning we'll get up, see if there's a cloud inversion, and then head up to the summit for a look.
what a morning! And some view over Rannock Moor. Now one of the reasons I wanted to come up here was because this set of hills I photograph quite a lot from the roadside down there and the two little hills in front you'll just see that's where I was camped when I done the the episode where I cleaned the plaque it was down there and when I was down there I said yeah I need to come up here and do a, a camp I've camped on another Munro in the past and this one was on my to-do list and so far it hasn't it hasn't disappointed it's been a great trip what a view what an absolutely amazing view That's it folks, all done. And I can't believe how many cars are here as I was walking in there. I passed a good 20 or 30 people heading up to those two mountains. But it's been a great trip. And yeah, that's it. You might enjoy one of these other films of mine. And don't forget to possibly subscribe and hit the bell notification for my upcoming videos. So from the Bridge of Orkey, time to head home, and until next time, take care.